and a go get the go dig a test or loyalty test, whichever one you want to call it, with Yudi. So another guy is actually putting his, I think he put his girl to, yeah, he's putting his girl to the test. So I'm about to go ahead and watch this, react to this. Other than that, let's get at it. Let's see here. Oops. All right, here we go. Today we were helping Prince place his girlfriend Ashley to the gold digger test. Famous streamer Kai Sinat will be hitting on his girl, flexing on her, and then asking her on a date. Uh, if I get your number or something, probably. Yeah. Uh. Will Ashley remain loyal to Prince, or will she fold and agree to go on a date with the famous and successful streamer? Are you prepared for the possibility that she might fail the test? I'm, I'm kind of prepared. Kind of prepared. I hope you guys have your talkies for this one, because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. Of course it is. Stop, chat. I'm about to lock in, chat. I'm about to lock in. Damn, bro. Two wires. Damn, bro. Two wires is crazy. You, you're working for the it's feds, like bro. <laughs> Our plan for this test was simple. Prince does some acting and modeling, so his excuse to bring his girlfriend to Kai's house was to tell her that he was going to be modeling for some clothing brand. Initially, we had his excuse be that okay. he was going to come over to act in some TikTok video, but we changed it up last second since it was just easier to go with the merch route. When Prince arrived with his girlfriend, Kai's assistant made them sign release forms and took their phones away for quote unquote confidentiality. This is common in most modeling shoots, but the real reason for her taking away their phones was because Kai was live streaming this entire test. You see, Kai's audience is enormous, so we didn't want one of Ashley's friends seeing the stream and then texting her, yo, you are being tested. Everything is set up and ready to go. Okay, Hopefully, gotcha, gotcha. It's just so much easier for us. Bro, I gotta be tech, I gotta move so tech. Bro, I have to move so tech, bro. Hey, what's up, man? Nice to meet you. I'm Elias. I'm the guy you've been talking to. Prince. Prince, nice, nice to meet you. Okay, there she is. Ashley, she nice looks small, you somebody. Um, you guys need any she sound like she's Asian. I ain't trying to be funny or nothing. Cool. Hey, how's your guys' drive? Honestly, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. yeah. I, I was talking to the one that helped us on the lease form. She was saying I just really trapped. But... Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. All right, so Elias is doing a very good job. I know I've been a little, like, confidential about the shoot, but do you know who Kai Sinat is? Yeah. Cool, so you're actually gonna be shooting for his brand, AMP. Okay. Why am I scared? I don't know, bro. I'm fucking scared as fuck. Any guys in the restroom or anything? Mm. Can I? Yeah, it's actually right around here in the corner. Show you what's at. Upon entering the home, Prince and his girlfriends were greeted by Elias. He was pretending to be the photo shoot's photographer, but his primary role was to help Prince make his exit and bring him over to us. It's him right here, chat. He's right here. Boyfriend is right here. This is what you call content, bro. I feel like the feds. She right there, she right there, she right there, she right there. <laughs> um, so, he said yeah, he felt like he the feds. Um, you can feel free to sit here. We're going to be shooting around the house and stuff. Um, Elias eventually takes Prince outside to begin shooting some photos, leaving Ashley by herself in the lobby and queuing Kai to make his entrance. Oh, here we go. Damn the chains. Kai didn't want to make things obvious. I know, right? He to grab a drink from the fridge before <laughs> greeting her. That damn... That damn chain, <laughs> man, that chain heavy. It's all it sounding up on the mic a while ago. How you doing? Nice to meet you. What's your, this oh, too. You What's your name? Sorry. What's your name? I'm Ashley. Ashley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Doing good. Doing good. You doing good? You here? Are you, is he here? Is he here for the? Uh, the oh yeah, my clothing brand. Oh, he's nervous. He's nervous. He's rambling, bro. He's rambling. Do you have you ever heard like the clothing brand AMP or not? Nah? It stands for any means possible. So like I just feel like um that was the vision, like any means possible, like I can do anything or somebody can just do anything by any any means possible. So AMP. Kai's team was generous enough to let us use their high-end equipment for this test. While this made our job easier, it did come with the downside of having cameras out in the open. To combat this though, we told Kai to say that they weren't on or were just security cameras. You seen the view? Yeah, it's really nice. Okay. You wanna come see? You come see it. Sure? Yeah, 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 I got you for sure. Oh yeah, it's okay. You leave this stuff here. Just leave it right there. You're fine. <laughs> All right, he's sticking to the plan. He got it. The plan was for Kai to show Ashley the stunning view so that Elias would have enough time to sneak Prince down to our command center. My okay. Man, Prince. <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah, <laughs> You're the, uh, let's uh, let's mic you up real quick. You're from LA? No, I'm from Thousand Oaks. Where's that at? You don't know where that's Nah. Where's that at? Um, 
It's like... So, in terms of getting here and everything, she wasn't suspecting anything? She's good. Yeah, she's good. She's, she's good. good. Okay. I'm ready. Let's, let's see, you know what I'm saying? I just moved out here. I bought this house. I'm originally from New York, though. You live in New York? Yeah. Really? I went um, this past the winter break. Where'd you go? Because um, New York City. Okay. My sister moved to Maryland. Really? So, I love Maryland. I have, yeah. I have family down in Maryland. Really? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, I bought this because the view is just amazing. Yeah, you feel me? My bad, bro, for just throwing wow. you into this already. No, like, there's usually we have a conversation beforehand, uh -huh. bro, but he's literally streaming it live right now, uh -huh. and so it's we're just going with it. <laughs> Is he a boy? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. How long, how long have you guys been together? Four months. Four months. Okay, okay, but okay. He's liked me for a while. He's been liking you for a while. He liked me well, like three years ago. Word. Yeah. When did y'all meet? When did you guys meet at? Um, we met at school. School. When I was okay. First. Okay, okay. So you guys need to use it for some time. So what yeah. made you guys come together now? I don't know. Like, I don't know. It just happened. It just happened. I mean, shit. You gotta, sometimes you gotta let it come to you. How are you feeling? Ah. The homeless problem is getting worse. It's not getting better. The crime is getting worse. It's not getting I'm neutral. I'm kind of anxious. I'm, I'm over like this. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> you mind if I, I'll give you a nice little tour? I'll give you a tour if you want. Are you thirsty by any chance? No, I'm not. Okay, you sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh -oh. Ryan further shows off his home to Ashley, including his Spider-Man room. This is, my, this is where I sleep at. You feel what I'm saying? Do you live alone or do your parents? Do I live alone? Oh, no, I live alone. I live alone. As far as me, I'm, oh, my mom, she, um, I just bought her a new house in, um, back in New York. So like, I love to go visit her. I am mama's boy. I wanna fly. I'm actually flying her out soon. I wanna go. I wanna be able to fly her out soon and have her visit me and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely. You know, my mom got my heart. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You come over here a little bit. I actually had this. I actually got this from. Um, what's the dude's name? Do you know Playboy Cardi? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. God. Good friend of mine. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I got a lot of. I got a lot of friends in in the music industry. So like we're all friends and stuff like that. Uh, Played by Cardi, Emily Chopper, you know NBA YoungBoy. Oh. Okay. You know, yeah. When I have watch nights like the Super Bowl and stuff like that, this is where I usually uh -uh. have it. You know, right here. Yeah. So. Oh my God, yeah. So this. So it's it's very cozy. You feel me? Are you prepared for the possibility that she might fail the test? I'm. I'm. Kind she of might. I don't know. She might. She okay. might not. Yeah, I tried to decorate. How, how do you like my decorating? Is the decorating good or nah? I like it a lot. You fuck with it? Yeah. Thank you so much. I yeah. appreciate you. You feel what I'm saying? But then, so like, what you into, you know? What you like to do? Um, well, I'm in school right now. You're in school? Yeah. What's your major? I'm a bio major. Biological. You're lying. You're lying. Yeah. What you want to be, though, like, in the long run? So, I'm, I was, well, my mom is a dentist. Okay. Um. That's why you got such yeah. a nice smile. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. you know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. See, I would have took that route, too. I mean, that's pretty good, though. Because usually some parents would want them to, like, yeah, be... Yeah, to, like, follow yeah. Like, protege. But for me, I I actually interned at a biopharmaceutical company last summer. I realized that I don't like doing, like, the background. Really? Stuff. Okay. I like being, like, direct patient. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, like, like, so, like so what is that PA. for? PA? Um, physicians. Okay, so if I get hurt, you going to save me? Sure. 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 There you go. Hurt, you, know? like, you, gotta be, you gotta be ready to save me. <laughs> What's your favorite color and stuff like that? Pink. Pink. Cat continues to make small talk with Ashley, and low key, he had a lot of opportunities to make his move, but never really capitalized on them. He might never get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's had so many missed opportunities yeah, to like. He definitely has. Start. I mean, maybe it was all just part of his plan and strategy, you know? Eventually, though, he did start preparing to make his move. But I know some good food spots with like lamb chops and all that back at home. But what's the one called? Catch LA? Yeah, Catch LA. Where is it like? Downtown area? No, like, I thought it was near. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like. Near. Nah, so it's pretty close then. LA. Okay, yeah, probably, probably just in the LA area and stuff like yeah. that. What's your favorite thing to get from there? I've only been there once. Damn, you trying to go there again? Honestly, okay. If you're like looking for a food review, it wasn't as good as like it is on. Really? Screen. So, so what's like, so what's the food review from one through ten? Uh, you're gonna grill me, but like a seven. A so what's like, okay, so what's your favorite restaurant to go to? I start off with that. I go to Moon Shadows with my parents. Moon Shadow. Okay. Have okay. you been around Malibu Mart? Malibu, 
Nah. Have you ever been to have you been to Noble? It's actually near in Malibu. You ever been to Noble though? No. You never been to Noble. I gotta I gotta show you Noble. Oh shit, okay. <clears throat> I gotta show you no know, I I love it. The private, I got a private room. You feel oh, what I'm saying? I don't like sushi. No, no, it's just, it's not only sushi there. Oh, it's, it's multiple not. things. Yeah, they come up with they come up with a whole bunch of platters and like different types of food, seafood, all that. You feel what I'm saying? I think we should go sometime. With my boyfriend. He's a what? With my boyfriend. I feel like you guys would get along really well. Me and your boyfriend. Yeah. Okay, there you go. I mean, shit, like. I feel like I like I like your personality, me and you one on one. Like me and you, like I feel like we have like a little connection. <laughs> you cool as hell. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't really like. I just stick to my girlfriends, kind of. At oh, school, at least. Yeah, at school. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's a no. Um. Damn. I thought you. Was, you know what I'm saying? I thought we just had a little connection. Oh no, no. Like that. I thought we just had a little vibe. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Damn. So that's a no. I mean, I mean, she's teetering. She's teetering. I mean, she she yeah. wants to do it. She I'll wants to do it. Or something probably. And uh -oh. to see, like you feel what I'm saying? Like maybe, maybe you'll change your mind. You know, I got this. So you're uh -oh. with your girlfriends and stuff, and y'all chill in the pool. And she's not I, saying no. I always, you can. She's not saying no. Because I always. I just text him to text you. I can't just text you. Like you independent. You got your own phone. Right? I do. What's uh, going on? Yeah, What's I going do. on, Wayne? How you doing? Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, the number's right here, you know? Uh. So that's a no. I mean, if it's a no, if it's a no. I want to text my boyfriend. I feel like you should text my boyfriend. So I'll text me instead? Yeah. All right, bet. All right, bet. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show you also around. Let me show you more of around the house and stuff like that. Oh, so they, so she actually passing. Does he, does he She's have a lot passing. of passing. W. Because the, the main level is this level? The main level is this level, yeah. The, yes. It's like a whole other level. You feel what I'm saying? The main level is indeed that level right there. Nah, but like, yeah, what is he into? Is he into sports too? Is he into basketball? Is he into. You feel me? Because cause he, he also model, right? Yeah. What's going through your head? I think he's done. Nah, I feel like I feel like she did good. She did really good. She felt actually. like she did good? Yeah, like she kept bringing me up. Like, I feel like. Nah, because some girls, like, they, they'll have a boyfriend, but they'll, like, they won't bring him up. Like, yeah. depending on the guy, like, they. Yeah, I know. Hey, look, here's here's something for you, too. You know, I got a little hat. Uh oh. A little shirt. What size are you? What size? Yeah, what size? An extra, extra size. X, X, X. I got that. I got that. Do you, you Would you, yeah, would you like a shirt? Okay. Okay, I got you. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a shirt real quick. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Look how small I am. Look what I'm saying. I got one just for you. What do you What do you want to do? Do you want to go upstairs and complain about things, or do you? Um, I could I could complain, tell yeah, her what was going on. Be like, be like, yeah, like, be like, yeah, you passed, like you yeah, did good. She, she passed, bro. She was. Bro. She kept bringing me up. Bro, she passed, bro. She kept. She literally kept bringing him up multiple times. As soon as I heard that, I'm like, okay. She oh my bro. god. She held it down, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, that's like that's damn. damn yeah, man. I'm up like, late, man. I'm up late. Some girls, depending on the. I gotta get it done, man. Gotta get it done. Man, like, gotta like, get yeah, it done. Him, I can't let him know he has a boyfriend. I, I, I think I did pretty good though. Chad, how did I do? I did good. I gotta warm up a little bit, but you know what I'm saying? I think I did pretty good, bro. You had a couple yeah, missed opportunities. Yeah, you had a lot of opportunities. To like throw the ribs and like. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is with that is, I wouldn't want to like overdo it to where she feels forced right, yeah, and, and unauthentic. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you overdo it, then it's like, nah, he just kept saying it over and yeah. over. But she shot it down multiple times, not only that, but she kept bringing you up. So so what's up? You want to go upstairs and complete her? I think you should tell her. I'll tell her. I think off the respect thing, the yeah. sex factor. So Prince decides to head upstairs and come clean to his girlfriends about everything. Wow. In my opinion is a smart move. I personally think that yeah, man. with flying colors. I think she was nice and courteous because she was in Kai's home, but she turned him yeah man i had to got to do this whole reaction thing and stuff like that going over some loyalty tests at the moment and everything so yeah i'm hit up a couple more videos and then i'm gonna hit the bed and everything but i'm glad you're here man glad you're here but yeah I'm, i mean got to trying to see what's going on out here in the world and been trying to talk about Kai the whole time and everything, him having that riot in um New York and all that. So, you know, why not just, you know, do a video with him trying to test 
another you know another guy's girlfriend and everything she ended up passing by the way so yeah that's good i knew she was gonna pass from the jump because she kept bringing the boyfriend up all the time so and like i said i think she i think she asian or something like that too so you know how they be sometimes they be you know i'm gonna stay by my man and all that stuff now nah, let it be a, a different race it might be a different story <laughs> down left and right she didn't even give into the pressure of giving him her number even if it was just for like a casual hangout but let me know what yep. you guys thought though what do you guys think do you guys think ashley passed or do you guys think she failed with that being yeah, said she though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know this shit's gonna be good yeah it's gonna get recently and for no reason oh come on now you didn't know there was a ride in new york wireless companies are allowed to Because this guy right here, he's a um, Twitch streamer on, on, um, Kai Sinat. He basically, he supposed to have went to New York, just show up in New York and give away some PS5s. Didn't go the way it's supposed to be. It ended up being with a whole lot of people showing up there doing stuff they're not supposed to be doing so it ended up being from a nice gesture of giving out ps5s to a whole bunch of young people and i say young because like i was explaining earlier i actually covered that video earlier you just came in a little after that but they all look like they was like I know like 16, 17, 18, probably 19, somewhere in that age group. Man, the video, the videos that I've seen, like I've, the only thing I've seen over the, this was like the past weekend, it just went past. And the video that I've seen, I just saw a whole bunch of people walking around in the middle of the street, you know, the helicopter view just it just the streets were blanketed with people that's all i saw but the video i just seen recently up here on youtube man they were they were kicking people cars breaking windows jumping on people cars they had stole somebody tr food truck all that stuff done went down i'm like man i didn't even know none of that happened i didn't even know none of that happened and because this guy right here I mean, it's not 100% his fault, but at the same time, he's kind of like, he is at fault because he the one brought everybody there, you know, and it sucks. It sucks that all of that is all on him. Just like Mr. Man has said earlier, he probably had to pay about close to, I know, probably a million dollars in damages and cleaning up the city or whatever like that because it was it was something that wasn't supposed to happen it was a good gesture but can't have a good gesture when you got a bunch of young folks out there in the middle of the street with skull with scullies on hoodies all the other stuff just concealing their identities like usually in 80 degree weather so yeah that happened over the weekend so i mean as soon as you google it new york riot or Kaisenot or whatever like that yeah you'll see it all come up <laughs> it's, it's crazy go ahead and finish this up i hope she don't get mad at him for putting him putting her through this test though you know, some females get mad when you put them through a test or whatever. I hope she just laughs it off, to be honest. <laughs> Babe. All right. So this was actually a loyalty test. You saw me go out there for a photo shoot and then you saw me disappear. I was actually down below watching like everything from, you know, behind the cameras, you know, uh -oh. so I actually, he I actually put you put you through a test to see your loyalty and you passed like 200 percent yeah you did you kept bringing me up 
that's that's a W move because you know some guys, some girls don't bring up their boyfriends, but <laughs> yeah. So I was just putting you through a test. Okay. Yeah, is that fine? Yeah. How do you okay. feel? I like really wanted to text you and be like. Where are you? But you didn't have your Oh, you would have texted him text and say where you want. Yeah, because I disappeared. She saw me go off for the photo shoot and then, like, just. Yeah. Oh, she passed. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, so she left it off. Damn. So, what did you think of everything? Like, when you were, like, here, did it seem like. Did it, everything come off realistic to you and stuff? I was, like, confused because he said it was for acting and then. I don't know. And then like this photo shoot thing. And then I was like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna be here. Did it ever click in your head? Like, did you ever like catch on in your head? Like, oh, I might be being tested? No. No, really? No, oh, it okay. didn't. It okay. did. <laughs> so was anything suspicious? No. Like nothing at all? Mm -mm, I just... Okay, because look, I got scared that I had her back turned the whole top of the movie room, but we missed a black tape on the top of the camera on the movie room. Oh, shit. Yes, I had her back turned so that she wouldn't see the red light. So, Honestly, I thought it was just security cameras. They do kind of look oh, like security, do like security cameras. Look okay. at it. Oh, chat, that was tough. <laughs> oh, that was tough. W stand the W. Yeah, stand the W. Stand the W. So, ready for the photo shoot? I'm ready for the photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough. Okay. I'm going to go back okay. in. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is like, damn. I wish I had a YouTube channel of catching cheaters, bruh. Ha! That was good. Man, she passed. Because trust me, like this one right over here, I think they probably, I think this one, he probably just might end up just leaving their tail. Because he didn't, she always... Yeah, uh huh. She kind of acted like she was with it at first. She did, but then at the same time, it was like, she was like, uh, like she didn't know what to do or whatever. She seemed like she was confused too, because she said she was confused. I was like, Psh. I don't know what to say about her. You know how Asians be sometimes. But yeah. Glad you're here tonight. I hope I ain't keeping you up too late. It's one o'clock, so. Surprise, you're up. <laughs> Surprise, you're up. But yeah, I mean, this is what I do. I try to do it. I suppose they did this last night, but didn't come across doing it because I got tired. You already know how it is. Got tired, 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 tired. Even though a whole lot of stuff went down yesterday. So, yeah.